Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Toronto of ChasingCinema.com. I thank you for tuning into our official YouTube channel. A lot is going on today. Um, earlier last night, uh, into early morning, Zack Snyder tweeted out a snippet of the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice t uh, trailer later in the afternoon, which I think ended up stealing all the press and all the heat that that trailer snippet was getting. Uh, the Star Wars The Force Awakens teaser trailer 2 dropped, and people have been blowing their minds ever since. It is amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out after this video. Um, or pause it, go watch it, and then come back. I'll even let that slide. Huge, huge, huge. And then we've been talking about Ryan Gosling in talks of directing Prometheus. Director Patty Jenkins has, uh, affirmed, has confirmed to be director of the Wonder Woman movie. All these things I talk about on my YouTube channel, so make sure to go check it out. But today, I want to talk about something that just happened um, as I'm filming this. A Snapchat from Jared Leto, who will be playing Joker in the upcoming movie Suicide Squad, was leaked um, and uh, <laughs> preserved by bad taste. Now, if you guys know Jared Leto, let's let's talk. Well, before we talk about Jared, Leto, let's talk about the Joker. Okay, uh, as I've t I'm sure I talked about last night when we were talking about Batman v Superman. Um, and if you listen to the podcast, which is published each week here on our YouTube channel, as well as iTunes, you can go to Chasing Cinema. Just search that in the search bar on iTunes store, and you'll find it. Um, I'm a huge Batman fanatic. Uh, I love Batman. I've been reading Batman. He's the one comic that I've consistently read throughout my life. Um, huge, huge fan. And Joker goes along with Batman. It, he just does. He, he's, an, he's an important part of the relationship. He is just, he's the equal part of the dynamic. I could go on forever about this. Um, Cesar Romero, 1966 Batman, fun stuff. Uh, Jack Nicholson played the iconic Joker in a very light, more goofy kind of setting. Heath Ledger, um, what people claim to be one of the best performances they've seen in the last two decades. Um... An amazing performance, uh, also has a lot of uh, emotional feelings around it, being that uh, Heath Ledger unfortunately passed a few months before The Dark Knight was released, and uh, but he did win uh, later the following year, or uh, later that year, I'm not uh, obviously, for the Academy Awards, he won Best Supporting Actor for his role as the Joker. Um, it is one that people constantly look back and hold up to. So the bar has been raised up to about here, and everyone wonders who could be the next Joker. Will we see Joker? There's so many comic movies. It's inevitable that we're going to see the Joker again. And um, Suicide Squad is the next time it seems we will be seeing the Joker. Uh, which I believe Suicide Squad just actually began filming this week. And uh, Jared Leto, the, um, the, the, the gorgeous long-haired man who won the uh, Supporting Academy Award. Uh, last year for Dallas Buyers Club, uh, last year is in two years, oh well, no, has it been two years? Oh yeah, about, no, about a year ago. Now, not the most recent Academy Awards, but a year ago. I'm getting my years confused. Uh, one for his uh, supporting performance in Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, he had long hair, you know, he was looking fabulous, and then all of a sudden there was transformation changes. He cut off all of his hair. He ended up bleaching it, and he's been um, he's been uh, wearing this cropped style uh, that looks familiar to a lot of Joker fans. Uh, he actually shaved his eyebrows. It seems like. Um, and there's been a few images here and there of seeing him looking this way. Um, he recently, uh, David Ayer, the director of Fury and End of Watch, who'll be taking on Suicide Squad, offered a look at uh, Jared Leto with his green hair when he recre recreated the cover for The Killing Joke, one of the most iconic um, graphic novels that come from the Batman world, holding a camera. But now... I'm not sure exactly how this image got out or, or who he sent it to, but Jared Leto is sporting the green hair and he's wearing red lipstick. Um, now, though he's only wearing red lipstick, his green hair, and he looks like he hasn't really kind of shaved, he doesn't look like he has any makeup on, um, I'm assuming this isn't the actual 
look of his Joker. I'm assuming it's going to have a lot more detail to it. Uh, I can't see it just being this, but you know, I don't know if he's playing around in the makeup trailer. I don't know if this is what he's, this is the first step or the transformation process. I don't know. And that's what's really interesting is that, is he just screwing around and putting on lipstick? Cause it doesn't look very well applied. You know, it doesn't look like it's done by a professional form movie. It looks more of like him screwing around and putting on lipstick, but the, I don't know what this Joker is going to really look like. I don't know exactly what they're going to do. I think that Jared Leto is doing a great job at kind of teasing us and making us follow him through this transformation. I think maybe because he wants the world to be a part of it and not shut himself out from the world. Um, I know that there's there was a lot of talk that Heath Ledger pretty much shut the world out when he was doing his transformation into the Joker as a character. But seeing this makeup... I just, I know Jared Little's talent. After seeing, you know, his cup, you know, seeing him perform in a lot of movies, the man has talent. He, can, I, I'm, I believe he could do this. I really believe it. And the great thing about the Joker is there's so many different versions of the Joker. Um, you could play him in very different styles and it'll still work. Like, like people for a while were comparing Jack Nicholson and Heath Ledger. And to me, you can't really do that. You really can't because they play two different characters. Though they were essentially the same character, the Joker, there are different variations in the comic book world. There are different variations in the Dark Knight, you know, in the in graphic novel speaking as well. You know, you have Frank Miller's Joker and then you have, you know, this, uh, you know, in the old school comic book Jokers. You know, you have these different ideas and that's what's great about this character. These characters have had 75, well, not necessarily Joker, but I mean, Batman Superman been around for 75 years. All these characters and villains involved have the opportunity to change and be different. And in different storms, they are different. So that's what's great. So each one can play them differently. Now, I don't know what Jared Leto is doing, but I can tell you that it's one of the most exciting things. Because that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm ex I am looking forward to this more than anything. More than Red Flag and Harley Quinn and Amanda, um, Amanda Walter. Deathstroke, Killer Croc. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Deadshot. That's all cool. But Joker is who I think the world is waiting to see. They are waiting to hear his voice, to hear his laugh. Um, I think, and you know, that's the great thing is also, I don't, even if this was his makeup for the movie, it doesn't matter. You know, I mean, it's not that impressive. Sure, it's not that captivating by just looking at it. But what I can tell you, what I can say is that it is a lot a lot of it is going to have to come from his performance. He could have really bad makeup and just act it perfectly, and it won't matter. If he wants to play a more realistic, non make up Joker, I mean, I'm sure the fans aren't going to be too excited about it. I'm sure comic book lovers aren't going to be so crazy about it. But the world will still watch, and the world hopefully will be enticed by this performance. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Jared Leto is going to be a great Joker? Who is your favorite Joker, Jack Nicholson or um, Heath Ledger? Even though I said people shouldn't do that. What are your thoughts on the Joker as a character? Leave all these comments down below. Let's get a conversation started because that's what I love to do here at Chasing Cinema is to have the conversation about film. Before you do that, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like to show your support. Each week I am uploading, uh, each day, I am uploading videos on trailer reviews and teaser reviews, uh, movie news, rumors, casting details, all that stuff. It is here. I am updating daily on it. Like I said, I've talked about Ryan Gosling being cast, uh, possibly cast in Prometheus 2. You can go watch that video. I've talked about the Batman v Superman trailer uh, snippet that I reviewed. Go check that out. Of course, I talked about the Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer. Go check out that review. I also talked about... Um, Patty Jenkins getting the role of director in the new Wonder Woman movie. You can go check that as well. There's plenty. And of course, each week I upload a podcast to this uh, YouTube page. You can also look that at Chasing Cinema uh, on iTunes under search Chasing Cinema. And uh, each week I will I publish on Friday our major video reviews that come out in theaters. So this week will be Unfriended and True Story. Make sure to tune in for all that. Hitting that subscribe button will make sure you get to see that first. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jacob Toronto. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at J-A-C-O-B-T-I-R-A-N-N-O. -N -N Again, that is J-A-C-O-B-T-I-R-A-N-N-O. -N -N Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for chasing cinema.